Hello, my name is Josh Jacoby. I am the Director of Engineering at Current Renewables Engineering. And today I will be giving a quick tutorial on how to use our Salesforce portal. The first thing we're gonna discuss is how to order a new project. When you log in, you'll first be taken to a homepage such as this. You're gonna to wanna to click on the projects tab at the upper left corner. And then you're gonna to wanna to click on the button that says new for new project. For the project name, we'll just enter in a <laughs> fictional name. Project owner is who on your team is owning this project. Uh, for our fictional customer, we have John Smith. Um, you will then have to enter the project address. Please keep in mind, this has to be a valid address. And the valid address needs to match the address shown underneath in the text. Uh, so on the back end, we have a uh, validation to make sure that the, the address is valid. And that's what's showing here. So you always want to make sure that what you're typing in is going to match here. If it doesn't, that means the address you're entering is uh, likely not valid. Um, and if there's an issue with this, please let us know. The state automatically gets extracted from the address, so you shouldn't have to enter that in. Uh, services, these are the services you want to order for this specific job. Uh, when you set up an account with us, we will uh, input the services that uh, we've discussed and, and have in our contract. So for this uh, fictional account, we have structural PE stamps, electrical review stamps, and design plans as optional services. Uh, you want to put a check mark next to which services you're ordering for this specific job. Let's say for this job, I want structural, electrical, and uh, the plans designed. So I would check all of those. Stamp type is what type of stamps you want on the project. Uh, there's an option for wet or digital. Wet means we're going to actually print out the physical copy, stamp it, and sign it with ink, and then ship it. Uh, to the address of your choosing. So if you choose wet stamp, you will be prompted to enter the shipping address. So you will need to provide that to us. If you choose digital, uh, we use a digital stamp. So obviously there's no address needed on our end. The job code is optional. Uh, this is meant for customers. If they have their own internal job codes they wanna use, uh, we give an option so you can more easily track that in here. A description is meant to have any special um, items that you need addressed. If there's any special jurisdiction requirements you want us to be aware of, you can input it here. Please keep in mind that we do have our own internal AHJ documentation uh, that we look at every for every project. So um, we try to capture all that. But if there's any notes you have, you can also leave that for us here. Structure type is uh, meant for structural engineering. What is the the roof framing, um, let's say for this project, we have two by four trusses, I'm gonna select truss. And then priority is also optional. Uh, if there's any um, expediting you need on the project, you can put that here for any urgency. Let's say I don't have any uh, urgency on this one, I'll leave it as none. And then you will click continue to upload files. So this is where you, you drag a, or you can drag and drop or you can uh, click and actually be taken to your uh, file uploader and, and choose the files here. Uh, this is where you would upload any documentation for the project, uh, whether it be site visit photos, uh, the plans. So if you're just ordering engineering, then we would need the plans. Um, if, you're, if you're ordering the plans from us, then we would need all the, uh, the documentation in order to design the plans. Um, so let's say I have you know, a couple of documents, I would upload those. Once they're ready to go, everything's done. I would hit submit request and that is it. The project is submitted. You can see this is the project page now. The project is in progress um, so we can begin working on it. The next item we're gonna look at is how to search projects and how to view your project lists or your project queues. So from any point in our uh, portal, you will have this projects tab at the upper left. You can click on that and you'll be taken to this page. We have 
right here, you can see we're looking at the, the project queue called All Projects. If you click this arrow, you'll be taken to about eight different uh, reports that you can view. So I'm going to just briefly uh, talk about what each report is. All Projects is a list of all projects that have ever been submitted by your account uh, in our portal. So that would be delivered projects, in progress projects, on hold projects, canceled progress, uh, canceled projects, any project. New projects in progress engineering. So this is new projects. Uh, it does not include restamps. So just new projects in progress uh, with engineering only. So uh, this does not include any design services. So if you have electrical, structural, or a combination of the two, then it would be in this uh, list view right here. New projects in progress with design. That is new projects, again, not including restamps uh, that are in progress and projects that have design as at least one service. So this would also be projects that have design and engineering. Uh, the reason we have these separated is uh, from customers, we found that it's it's easier for them to separate the two to know whether we're doing the design with the project or maybe they got the design um, done internally and then sent it to us. So we just separated those two reports. Um, and then similarly, I'm gonna skip down here, revision projects, engineering. Uh, revision projects means anything that is uh, a restamp or a post install letter. So basically an action that's being done on a previously completed project, which would be either a post install letter or restamp. Uh, so again, the first one, revision projects engineering is revision projects that have uh, only engineering services and then revision projects with design are revision projects that have design as at least one service. Uh, projects delivered current month, that's all projects that we have completed uh, this month, pretty straightforward. Uh, projects on hold are all projects uh, that are currently on hold. And then recently viewed, uh, this is just automatically generated by Salesforce. So you can see a list of projects you've uh, recently viewed. So this covers the different lists that are available to view. And uh, one quick note is if there's a list that you frequently access, you can pin that as your home screen. So let's say I want to always be taken to projects delivered for the current month. I can go to that list and then I'm going to click this little pin right here to pin this view. So now anytime I log in and click projects, I'll automatically be taken to the specific list. And then the uh, the last way to search for a job is you can just search the, the project name in the uh, search bar at the top. So if I know I'm looking for uh, George Clooney, just type it in, click on it, and it'll take you to the job page. So that covers how to search projects and uh, view our project queues in our portal. The next item I want to discuss is how to address projects that have been placed on hold. So I'm going to go back to this projects tab and look for the list of on hold projects. We can see we have one project that the current renewables team has placed on hold. If you go to that project page, the reason the project has been placed on hold will be in the chatter communication on the lower left. So we can see here it says, please upload the site visit photos. Um, usually we'll place projects on hold for, um, for if, if documents are missing, sometimes plans uh, aren't uploaded or the photos aren't uploaded or sometimes files for uh, the wrong project are accidentally uploaded. So those are the common reasons we'll place something on hold um, or if additional information is needed, but we will always include the reason down here. So in this case, we need to upload the site visit photos. So again, I'm gonna come up here to client files. You can either drag and drop into this location, or you can just click on upload files and then uh, upload directly. Let's say, I'm, let's pretend these are the photos that we need. You would upload it, click done. And then you would just click this action button at the top that says continue project. That button will take the project off hold and put it back to in progress and essentially put the project back into our court. So we'll continue to work on it. Now I want to discuss how to request restamps or post install letters on already completed projects. 
So I'm going to click on the projects tab and find my list of delivered projects here for the current month. So let's say on this job, Mickey Mouse, I need a restamp. I'm going to come to this project page and you can see at the upper right, there's actions. There's these two actions here, restamp required and post install letter. So if I need a restamp, I will click on restamp required. I'm going to add a description of why the restamp is needed. Um, let's say there's a layout revision. Greetings, restamp, new plans. Uh, and then we have a drop down of typical cases when restamps are needed. So this would be a design change. Uh, and then again, files, you can either drag and drop into this location or just click on and uh, you would upload the new plans. So let's pretend these are the new plans. I would upload the new plans that need to be completed. And then I would click finish. And now the project is ready to go. Um, I'm going to refresh the page here. And you can see it's back to in progress. So we are currently working on the restamps in this case. And it's very similar for post install letter. Um, just instead of clicking the restamp required action button, you would click the post install letter action button. So with that, uh, we pretty much covered the basics of using our portal. If you ever have any questions, you can reach out to a member of our team and we can uh, provide more information to you. Thank you for listening and I hope you have a great day.